adaption of the Wilkie Collins novel of the same name tied all its loose ends together in tonight's climactic finale. Viewers saw sisters Marion Halcombe played by Jessie Buckley and Laura Fairley Olivia Vinyl try once and for all to evade the clutches of evil Sir Percival Lyle Dubray Scott. After learning that Sir Percival was illegitimate, Walter Hartwright then Hardy knew he had him in his sight and Sir Percival felt the heat. Quite literally, it transpired as he'd be in a fire trying to destroy the evidence that exposed his heritage. Furthermore, Anne Catherine, also Olivia Vinyl, and Laura's uncanny resemblance to each other was finally explained as it was revealed the pair of them were really sisters and Laura's father had been blackmailed by Sir Percival. Dastardly Count Fosco, Ricardo Scarantia, also got his comeuppance as he was slain at the hands of Hesca, Ivan Cave. A happy ending was had as Laura married Walter and Marion went off to explore the world for herself. The episode drew to a close with the newlyweds reading a letter from Marion who told them the sights of travel have freed my burdened heart and opened my eyes to the true wonderment of this world. This ending was a far cry away from the novel where Marion goes to live with her sister and her new husband in Limeridge House after Laura's uncle F. Marion striking out her own scene to delight viewers who wanted to see more action from the headstrong woman. Those watching at home took to Twitter to comment on the close of the series and what could come next. There was a potential for spin-off detective espionage stories featuring Marion Gare the woman in white, one wrote. While another declared spin-off for Marion if there's any justice the woman in white. Now that's a much more interesting ending for Marion the woman in white, a third exclaimed. A fourth joke, if you enjoyed The Woman in White, don't forget to tune in next week for the action-packed historically inaccurate adventures of Marion Halpin, international assassin. With and Dream, it seemed the ending was a hit with viewers as many were quick to praise the cast, that was excellent really enjoyed The Woman in White, congrats to all cast and crew. One phrase, well how great was The Woman in White, love the ending. A third question to Baptist all around, surely? The woman in white Marion, another lauded. However, for some, the adaption did appear to fall a little flat. One viewer mused, HMM, well, it had some good points, but on the whole I was underwhelmed by the woman in white. I would advise anyone who has watched their woman in white to read the book, Dreadful Adaptation, the second added. The woman in white is now available to watch on iPlayer.